little bit about growing up in Africa. What was that like? Uh, that was that was great. That was really great. That that to me is in many ways it's home. So I moved back to. I was born in Maryland in Silver Spring, Maryland, and moved back to Cameroon when I was about four. Um, I don't have too many clear memories of that, but what I do have memories of are like being in boarding school with uh, with my friends, um, and really just a very I don't want to say simple, but it was just a little less complicated. There really wasn't much social media, and uh, I didn't really watch TV, but I remember just spending a lot of actual time in like storytelling and that sort of thing. How many kids were in your class at school? I actually went to a relatively small school. We were probably about 25 in my class, so we were really, really close. And I'm talking about primary school now. So in primary school, we're about 25. We still kind of like check on each other on Facebook, that sort of thing. Um, by the time I made it to what we call secondary school in Cameroon, uh, the classes probably got a little smaller to about 20 because I went to a private Catholic boarding school. So... You started in Maryland, moved to Africa. What's different about being raised in Africa versus being raised in Maryland? Like, how would how would your parents approach that differently? Uh, I think it's just culture. I mean, there's culturally there there are certain differences, and I would say one of the main things is that the family is bigger. And I, so basically here in the U.S., everyone is so far away. You don't really get to see each other. And usually when you say family, you're talking about like your parents, your siblings. Um, in Cameroon, when I say family, I'm talking about maybe 200 people. That's like every cousin, second cousin, third cousin, nephew, niece, aunt, uncle, grandparent. And we all sometimes either live very close to each other or even live in the same house. So family is much bigger and everyone has such a role in like your upbringing. So that was beautiful. And I do miss aspects of that. So you moved back to the States when? Uh, I was about 14 that I moved back. And by age 16, my mom was like, you know what? Just take the SATs. You may be able to do well and you could just go to college. And so I did that. I did so well. So at 14, you started prepping for the SATs no, or when? At 14, there was no real plan. But like I would say by the time I was 15, late 15. So the equivalent was they call it Form 5 in Cameroon because we um, Cameroon follows the British school system. And so you take your O levels, which is like your ordinary levels. Um, and then normally you would go to lower six, upper six, which is the equivalent of the 11th and 12th grade. So my mom said, uh, you don't really need 11th and 12th grade. Just take the SATs and see if you can do well. And then, yeah, so I did that and then I started college. 